Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' is D. Boss here. This is Black Tea Blog Vid. This is Young Miami and P. Diddy clowned. Uh, Cardi B drags her fans. Ice Spice EP trash. <laughs> Young Thug and more. Oh, there's so much going on. Young Miami talking about how she get peed on. Girl, girl, girl. Anyway, let's see uh, what was happening. Let's watch. No, the fuck, Black Tea Blog did not put. A, a pee shower on top of her and goddamn head. Again to all those people who Girl. Hate okay. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. Let's get into stuff now. Girl, you ain't shit. That's hey, weird. you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ebony. All right, you guys. We have several juicy topics to discuss in this video, and we also have a real life topic that's gonna make you very, very upset. So let's go ahead and get into the celebrity gossip, and a then we'll get into topic. this crazy case. Now, earlier today, there's been a lot going on online, but something that got people talking is the fact that Young Miami and P Diddy, P E E Diddy, allegedly, okay, are now trending on social media after during an episode of Carisha Please, Young Miami did disclose to Trina that she loves the golden shower. It just does something to her. Check it out. Ooh, okay. You know why I picked this one? Oh, Lord. What is it? <laughs> I can't say it. You got to. It's like, take a shower. You like golden showers? I do. Golden showers? Do you like it? I just like it. You do? <laughs> Freak of the week. Huh? A few moments later. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Ebony. Ebony now, girl. Like you guys, people are dragging this situation. And let's be clear, this isn't the first time that we've heard about the bathroom and B. Diddy. You guys remember that about 10 years ago, he Diddy had a reality show where all he talked about was being in the bathroom. But have you ever had to take a real bad? I know men and women. When you have to take this real bad, it, the, the, the feeling of just the release is something that 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 that, that, that truly can't be explained. Chow, allegedly, what? P. Diddy always been weird. Allegedly, yikes. <laughs> Look, you guys, people are reacting to this. Talk and about a mess. This is insane. <laughs> there is literally the hashtag P Diddy, P E E Diddy trending all over social media. The internet is wild. But let's be clear to each its own, right? You know what I find very them? interesting? And this is just my opinion. I've seen a lot of people talk about their preferences online. And oftentimes, when celebrities do open up about things that they like in their personal space, a lot of people come through with that judgment, right? Now, look here. I don't do nothing with no golden showers. That's not my cup of tea. But a lot of you people saying that it's funny, been on your back yesterday, enjoying that go in shower too and let's just go ahead and keep stat okay allegedly talk about a cx <laughs> this is a mess not p diddy p e e diddy i'm done <laughs> Tell you guys, let's move on to the next topic because you guys are definitely going to lift the comments up about what you think about P. Diddy. All right, you guys, let's talk about Cardi B. All right, I know we talked about Cardi yesterday, but Cardi did something else today, so we're going to talk about it. So Cardi B is going off on her fans. You guys know that her fans have been wanting an album from her, and a lot of times her fans are overbearing. You know, they're always asking her for pictures. Every time she's in the studio, oh, it's coming. It's kind of like Cardi B has been, in a way, harassed by her fans because she feels like, let me work. Stop asking me. When it's ready, I'll give it to y'all. Now, she did go off and she had a lot to say. She says that she couldn't stand y'all. She also said the fact that she wasn't expecting to be seen until maybe March of this year. She wasn't even going to do the Jason Lee interview. Now, people believe that Cardi B's interview with Jason Lee and some of the looks that she's been posting were gearing up for an album rollout. But it does seem the internet was wrong because Cardi B is saying, look, I wasn't even going to come out in January or February. I wasn't planning on doing anything. And she's kind of like, look, I don't want to always have to go to the studio and take a picture. Sometimes I don't have a wig. Yucks. <laughs> Check it out. I I've been really chilling, but a lot of y'all been getting on my nerves. Like I don't understand why y'all think that every single time I'm in the studio, I gotta take a picture, I gotta put in my thing. I don't like that. I don't move like that. Literally today, I did community service. Four o'clock, I left. I went to the studio. I came back at ten o'clock because I gotta be up at five. I've been in LA and I've been in LA doing nothing but recording. That's the only reason why I was in LA because New York, going in and out, New York, going to studios is too cold for me to move around like that. Has to come back to New York to do the. And then that, no, I'm not gonna be posting every single time that I go to the studio because sometimes I don't have a wig and I don't like to post where I'm at. People know what what location, what studios people be at. I don't like doing that. Well, I don't, don't like doing that. Well, fucking don't. Leave me alone. Don't yeah, look. Like did the Jason Lee interview. Was Don't the look. In January or February. This is stupid. So tough. She ain't got a wig. Look, you guys. We can all. 
right? They are kind of like um, every single fan base that we see on the internet. Whether Cardi B understands it or not, when she, you know, garners fans, they are following her and supporting her for some reason. Some of them relate to her lifestyle. Some of them love her music. This is Sometimes stupid. some of them, you know, appreciate what she says in her music. It helps them get through things. But at the same time, it can be. And let's be clear. I don't give a fuck. She can continue to complain. But I'm my mind is boggled because you just complained about you being so depressed and sad about what people say about you, but you're constantly online complaining about what people are saying about you and saying to you. It's stupid. It's just dumb. I don't give a fuck. This does not affect my life at all. But you are the one complaining about it and saying it's affecting your mental health. It's affecting you. It's dumb to continue to let yourself be affected over and over again. Delete the app, girl. Delete it. It overbearing when you have a fan base that is consistently, you know, checking for you or consistently asking things from you when you know that you're not ready to produce that. Allegedly, right? Cardi B did this um, a couple months ago where she addressed her fans and she's like, "Look, stop always asking me for stuff. I will provide when I'm ready." And I do think that that Jason Lee interview may have confused the public because now people think, "Okay, Cardi B is stepping out for interviews, so this means that she's getting ready to release some music." That's just how the internet thinks. It doesn't necessarily they do this with everybody. You know how long. Rihanna has been harassed, but what does she do? She makes a joke about it, and she like, okay, y'all get it when when y'all get it. And I'm sure when she gets annoyed, she she just she logs the fuck off. You think she letting this affect her? She's somewhere changing diapers. What? I mean, it's right. So the I logic. think Cardi B is wrong because her fans do truly love her. And y'all, it's know. not about being right or wrong. In my opinion, I, again, I don't care about this woman. I'm gonna when I click off this video i'm going to forget about this and not care but you are saying you're affected so oh we've had a lot of issues party game but one that's thing show, is for that's sure and that's they love her so i get that she's upset that they keep asking things from her but at the same time as a celebrity you have to be very careful how you speak to people that support you because that's support can be gone in a blink of an eye i'm not saying that cardi b's gonna lose support like oh my gosh she ain't gonna have no fans no but i do mean that there will be certain people who feel like they're slighted right i'm supporting you i'm spending my hard-earned money and you talking and to you me cuss me out right but again cardi b did say they're like a dysfunctional family they fight and they get back and make up so who knows but you guys will let me know what you think about it down below all right you guys let's go on to the next topic which is none other than ice spice releasing her ep called life Hi, Ciao. Ciao. this ep had several songs she included bikini bottom she also included the song much she had a song called gangsta boo princess diana and the hood song let me be very clear i think ice spice is the whole vibe right ice spice has great energy ice spice is doing her thing but in my opinion this ep was trash i'm not even trying to be mean right i didn't like the ep okay i didn't like the ep okay, because i felt it. like every single song was the same thing with a different beat and that's really no shade. I think Ice Spice is in a spot now too where she's found a sound. She's found a sound that works for her. So now, as she grows as an artist, I'm interested to see how she manipulates Girl, her sound to artist. be more diverse and to potentially be more versatile, right? Because this flow is not going to work on a pop song, right? This flow may not work on a different genre of music. So although, you know, I did not like this EP, I do look forward to what Ice Spice is going to bring. And I mm. think she has great potential. But this EP for me was not it. And that's mm. really no shade. All right, you guys, we are moving on to this case of two wealthy bankers okay mm -hmm. real life who adopted two sons and it has actually been released that they used those two sons and allegedly pimped them out to other people and let's not forget they also oh! did things that are quite, quite disturbing so let's get into it so shout out to the neighborhood talk to they are the ones that found this story and they are reporting that an atlanta couple is behind bars and rightfully so now according to daily mail the wealthy couple zachary so zulock and his husband william way. hurt their adopted sons and pimped them out to other men heard the report Zachary worked for a local bank branch while William worked for a local government customer service center. But somehow the couple were ranking in about $7,500 a week. They also built their dream home in an area where similar properties sell for over $900,000. Friends and relatives were at a loss over how they made so much money. Turns out they were pimping out their kid. In August, the pair admitted a range of heinous things, including the R word, forcing their young sons to perform different things on them. And after a midnight raid on their home, during 
which one of the adults was hauled with no clothes oh on from the house. God. What's crazier is that they even sent out videos and one sick message Zachary sent to one of his friends. I'm going to F my son tonight. Stand by. Now the pair remains in custody awaiting their next court dates. Now look here. This is what we call despicable. This is what we call this a huge so disregard for human life. And this is where I call so out the evil. system. This is not, you know, necessarily an issue because of their preference of liking each other. Two men, right? This is an issue of them hurting their children and adopting two oh, boys to fulfill their nasty, weird fantasies. This is so unfortunate, you guys. Currently, they are in custody. We are awaiting their arraignment. And you guys already know, oh, I'm going to no. bring you the full story. Now, the last segment of my show today, I actually want to talk about Young That's Thug, so who is probably one of the stupidest people on earth right now, in my opinion. Thug, girl, and I'm how so he allowed someone from his God organization damn, I never to drop a Percocet in his hand during live court, then got Metro, caught. Metro, you can't Metro, be serious, Metro, Metro, right? Metro, Metro, I guess I gotta listen to that. <laughs> but, but that's all I got. That's all you left me with? Oh, that's a fire song. But that's all That's all I'm gonna ever get. Because you're stupid. This is fucking stupid. This nigga hand you a perk in court. Like you ain't being watched by thousands of eyeballs. You on camera. And that was such an obvious uh, trade off. Well, not trade off. I don't know why you gave him nothing. But it was obvious. He gave you something. Young Thug, brother. really? And then Young Thug's lawyer came out and said that Young Thug did not jail. know what this individual had dropped in his hand. Fuck Is this here. also how he did not know that his co-conspirators were going to be pleading guilty? Is this also how he did not know that the things that he was doing behind the scenes was going to get him caught up in court? I have one more question. Is the same thing he didn't know? He is being watched so closely. For him to even open his hand is a problem. If he didn't know what he was being given, he would have been like, nah, don't give me that. Go ahead right. and check out what you had to say. Chow, defense, I would have dropped like, what the fuck is this? That makes a good lawyer, though. You guys, this is a hot mess. And it worries me because it makes me feel like, young thug, do you ever want to get out? You or don't. are you now in that system mentality? Are you preparing to be institutionalized? This is so unfortunate. Let me know what you guys think about these topics. Down below. Damn, thugger. Very, very disappointed in, in that. Like, that was just stupidity at its finest. He, he ain't ever getting out. Um, that story is so fucking sad about that couple in Atlanta. Just imagine you thinking you getting adopted and you're going to a nice family and then that happens to you. That's so fucking twisted and evil and heinous. I hope they spend the rest of their trifling ass days in jail. That's so fucked up and disgusting. Uh, Young Miami, you know what? If you want to get peed on, that's your business, you know? Like I said in another video, I don't kink shame. <laughs> that I could fucking never. But that's your life and that's your business. And if that's what you want to do, cool. But I feel like you're just disclosing this to us because you're thirsty for attention. You want the spotlight to continue to be on you because you ain't dropping no music. So now you are an influencer, I guess, or host, TV host, whatever you call yourself being these days. And... This is what you're doing for continued clout. And it's embarrassing that you feel like you need to do this in order to uh, get views for, for your show and to keep you know the attention on you and the spotlight on you. That's what annoys me about this whole situation. I don't feel like she's saying this just because it's because she, she wants people to tune in. She's, she's thirsty for, for clout, for the continued clout. Uh, so that's what I feel like this is about. So it's like, girl, nobody cares. Cool. All right, you could like to get pissed on. All right, cool. What you want to do with this information? She's just getting them on nerves at this point. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!